SMT Nation, we back. We got a story from Fierce Wireless. This one, the author, Linda Hardesty. WCO Spectrum has $1 billion in active offers to buy 2.5 gigahertz spectrum. The reason this is important, this is uh, essentially the most critical asset for T-Mobile's 5G UC component of their network. And we know we have the auction up and coming July 29th, the date. So we're just a couple of weeks away. They're going to try to shore up all those white space licenses to secure the future of that N41 channel, get it as national and wide as possible. And I mean, this is just the thorn in there behind right here. All right. So the investment company known as WCO has been in the telco media uh, storylines for the last several months. I mean, they even use the same word I did, a thorn in the side of T-Mobile. All right, so uh, what the company has been doing is they've been reaching out to the educational institutions, I'm sure the churches as well, any of the holdings companies, uh, and trying to figure out you know, what the, the leasing structures have been for those licenses to T-Mobile. And what they're probably doing is trying to evaluate what they're worth, how much they're willing to pay, how much they can make off of T-Mobile, should they be able to kind of uh, buy and purchase those licenses from those institutions. Uh, it says here that there have been 13 transactions. T-Mobile used its right of first refusal to buy the Spectrum in 10 of the deals. In two cases, T-Mobile sued schools to block their sale of Spectrum to WCO. Uh, and I think what this boils down to is this is just, it's just cost. T-Mobile is able to save money by the Spectrum not going to WCO and remaining with these other institutions that don't negotiate higher pricing. Uh, it says here, uh, the, the deal with the Owasso Public School District, one of the largest in Oklahoma, as reported by Light Reading, that was in the news previously, uh, that right, ref, uh, right of refusal amounted to $450 million. Uh, so there's big money in this. All right, now the... Um, the EBS BRS spectrum that T-Mobile uses for N41, this 2.5 gigahertz, continues to be contentious in this kind of scenario because the rules that were set forth by the FCC a long time ago clearly outdated the spectrum not really totally being used for school operations or whatever broadcasting they were doing. And now I think it's time that it just moves over to completely you know, a new set of rules where it's operated by mobile network operators. And, you know, that, that's that been the issue since the beginning. You know, this is what has made, you know, this whole endeavor an issue for T-Mobile. And not that they didn't know what they were getting into. Clearly they did. Uh, these leases, all this other stuff that's been going on with it, they knew about it going into the Sprint merger. Uh but now with like Spectrum Auction 108 coming up, you have AT&T, you have Verizon, you have Dish, as well as other entities that are, you know, have filed their applications to bid and exist at that auction. Uh, the, the pricing for the stuff could be quite expensive. So, and, and how this impacts you as the consumer, if T-Mobile is unable to secure their 5G UC future in a cost-effective way, potentially could drive up pricing could create discontiguous uh, spectrum holdings. I mean, it's kind of weird to go to one place in a county, say, for example, like if you were in Ohio, uh, to give you guys context, you know, where I'm from, you're in Southern Ohio and you're getting in a, a 40 or a 60 megahertz channel of N41. You go two hours north to the next major city, and then part of that county has 100 megahertz of it or 160 that inconsistency impacts people in a lot of different ways, not just in the mobile network operation side, your mobile experience, but the ability for them to also grand scale launch, deploy, and offer the T-Mobile home internet, which they are more than willing and capable of doing, clearly. The numbers are there. People are enjoying the service. They're taking to it. They're adding you know, 300,000 subs a quarter with it. They're going to end up with millions of subscribers of the service. So this, this continues to be an issue. This is something that T-Mobile is going to have to sure up. And I'll continue to report on this. I'll continue to offer updates as things happen and we get developments and it's covered here in the media. But that's where we're at right now here. Uh, WCO is 
they're going to be giving T-Mobile a hard time. They want to own the spectrum. They want to lease it to T-Mobile. And they want to be the business spectrum landlord, I suppose. That's a good way to describe it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more, and turn on that bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for my Twitter handle, my Gmail address for all business inquiries, and my Patreon page if you want to support us there and get early access to content and exclusive videos not found anywhere else. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.